Hey everybody, it's Demo here. In today's video, I'm gonna quickly show you how to make an infinite amount of gold playing on a barb in the goblin case. I'm gonna show you my routine and um, basically the way I would make gold, especially if I would ever need it. And uh, pretty much this is what we're gonna be doing in today's video. But before the video starts, I want to remind you only 9% of people who are watching my channel has subscribed, the rest didn't. If you can consider the press subscribe button, I'd really, really appreciate it. I play on a barb, a main barb. I've been playing on a barb for 3000 hours, and this is my absolute most favorite class. And uh, basically, I have a lot more videos incoming in the future. So if you have any plans, or if you think to play on a barb, consider to subscribe because. Um, this channel might be actually useful um, and may actually have some something useful to you, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's get back into the video. So pretty much um, this is what we're going to run with. We're going to run with a bird dish that I bought in market for 120 gold. The rest does not matter, just throw whatever. And also I'm going to use a good turn shoe boots with a 5 additional move speed. You may ask me, bro, you're running such an insane biz, wow, holy fuck, insane. And I'm going to show you exactly the price of this turn shoe boots. Uh, of rare quality, of course, of rare quality. So pretty much the one I bought was a little under 100 gold, but uh, somehow, um, somehow, yeah, wow, holy fuck, 180 gold is actually quite a lot. I'm sorry, guys, you would have to com commit to buy an extremely best turn shoe boots for 100 gold. That's pretty much how I spent them this morning. And pretty much this is what we're going to play with. So yeah, basically for the build, we're going to run the combination of a Savage, Crush, Robust potion chugger. Well, you know my favorite one, right? <laughs> That's just what I absolutely love playing with. Recently, I finally was able to level 100. Congrats. Let's actually check what we're gonna have as a reward. We're gonna have a dick as a reward. Fucking nothing as usual. Some stuff never changed. I haven't got anything past epic. I didn't got a single legendary. And I rolled this thing over 100 times because I had over 20 tokens on each and every character um, when I started to play my vibe. But, um, you know, I never get anything good. It doesn't matter, though. It's um, it's not that big of a deal because all the good items, I will just strip off the people that I kill. <laughs> anyway, let's back. Yeah, let's get back um, into the video, right? I probably already said that two times. But anyway, we're going to hop into the Goblin Caves. We're going to go in. We're going to clap some cheeks right after we're going to sell everything. And I'm going to show you how much money we'd be able to make just in simple one raid. Anyway, let's start the game and let's go clap some cheeks. All right, we're finally in. Um, pretty much this is not the best location to spawn in, but it's not that big of a deal. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to break some doors. Here is a little tag that you could use, which is going to make your life slightly easier. And, well, you don't need to use it to break the doors, but I just want to use it just to showcase that you can, <laughs> you know what I mean. It just basically will make your um, bird dish bypass your first attack. I was thinking to make a full video on it, but um, really, you know, <laughs> it's not that deep, not that big of a deal. You gotta be careful here, because you never know who's gonna be around and just gotta be a little bit careful, more or less. I'm gonna open up both doors because it's going to be extremely convenient for you to get out in case if someone tries to get in. I highly encourage you to start with the troll and not with the cyclist because the troll can drop the troll pelt or mystical gem. If you get one of two, pretty much you will end up getting way too much resources. If you want to kill a troll, it's actually pretty easy. All you need to do is hit once, walk to the left. Alright, now we back off. Very easy. We get back. Wait for attack, we come back, we hit it, we press um, A, we get close. Here I could have actually started attacking and crouching, but I didn't want to bother. Just keep the distance, like, it would be the best way for anyone who is starting out um, to make gold. Like, this process does not take any effort, like, almost at all. Last time I killed the troll, oh god, it was a while ago, like, usually I don't kill it, I let my teammate do that, <laughs> I let my teammate do that, but... Uh... Alright, so let's get back to the troll. I hit it once in the arm, I walk to the left. I'm waiting for him to finish his slam, I'm gonna come back right after. I'm waiting for him to finish his attack, I'm gonna slam his body or arm, I'm gonna walk away. 
he went way too far so i'm just gonna wait for another attack for a guarantee attack i don't want to get hit by the boss so that's why i'm going to keep the distance and make sure that i don't get any damage if you stack a lot of action you will be able to do attack twice instead of once but it's going to be a little bit risky anyway so just be careful with it now i'm waiting for another opportunity to attack and i'm gonna hit him right and i'm fucking miss it's okay though <laughs> sorry all right i'm backing away he's gonna slam the door i'm getting close back like super close all right we're gonna slap it one more time and it's dead like literally didn't take much time at all it was very easy there's one thing I could tell, the amount of effort it takes to kill the troll in the normals, it's actually slightly more for barbs and for the uh, high roller. The reason is very simple, because the troll in the high roller does additional attack animation, which will allow you to do double headshot, which will speed up your process of killing um, the boss. We didn't really get much, but it's okay. We found the beautiful torch that we're gonna use. I somewhere through the one that we're ahead. And basically that's it. If you'd really be interested, you could take the gold pile, which is gonna give you a guaranteed uh, 150, 200 gold, 300, depends. You can sometimes get blue, purple items. But I usually don't do it because I just always go for guaranteed loot. It's gonna be either troll with the cyclops. Uh, it's gonna be either troll pelt or the um, mystical gem from a troll and basically i'm gonna loot up mystical chest and run directly to the cyclops without a second sword so pretty much we are getting oops oh fuck my bad um pretty much i'm gonna usually skip all the mobs because there is no really point to bother when you have a crush Basically, we're doing a little bit of a speedrun on how to make a lot of gold quite quite effortlessly, I would say. Like, if you would put some effort and kill the mobs, that's already effort. Basically, the way we do it is just gonna... We're gonna simplify, or I'd rather say oversimplify. Basically, we go to the troll, then we go to the cyclops. And pretty much, we are almost fucking there. One step right before we get to the doorway, there is also another way um, to the Cyclops, which is located southwest from here, but um, I don't really want to bother too much, and basically here I would also open both doors up, but uh, I'm not sure if the Skeleton Champ is on me, so I'm just gonna keep them locked out. Alright, so let's do the Cyclops, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do and how to kill it. You run it at walk left. All right, he's gonna do that. Sometimes he's gonna blind you. Basically, just stab it a couple of times and keep walking to the side. It's very simple. The moment you think that he's about to swing, he's about to swing. Very simple as that. We walk to the left every time he swings. And then you keep doing the process. Just repeat the process all over again. And basically, sometimes when you make this roar, you gotta do a jump twice and then you gotta look down. It's very hard to mess it up. Right after that, I probably did way too much damage, so he decided to stomp the floor. When he swings with his arm, I usually jump. When he hits with the club, it doesn't matter which direction you're gonna take, pretty much you're gonna be um, pretty quick um, to get away no matter what direction. After that, there's gonna be the rock wall phase. After that, it all depends on how much damage you're gonna do. So he's gonna do a combo no matter what and if you did enough damage he would either stomp the floor or use the cyclop vision which gonna stop in place pretty much I mean root in place after that um, basically he's just gonna do his thing once again this is the part that I did when I was blinded but this is what I'm gonna do when I'm not now here we go the rock will face I'm just gonna jump every second on the second hit i'm gonna try to jump slightly faster at the first time it's i believe one second on the second time it's half a second i do manage to mess it up every time so i feel like it's really a fucking rng part and basically if you did it long enough it's actually not that hard i'm gonna open up the door because i feel like i heard something to the um, south but i'm not 100 percent certain and now i am certain there is a fucking rat or a druid. Well, it's all depends on what perspective you're gonna take a look from. So basically, we have a rat that is a druid. 
now he's running at me but the problem is he doesn't know what is gonna happen to him in a 3, 2, I'm gonna rage rage, he dies. The outcome is usual, the druid will meet his end and that's the outcome of any druid that will decide to mess around with me in the process of making a guide. Well, he does have some cheese and I'm gonna take all the cheese that he has to offer. I'm gonna take the bottles because in the future you will need them. The goal for today's video is to make gold and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to stockpile as much gold and hopefully we'll make a couple thousand per raid because this is usually the amount I would aim for raid. Um, basically, majority of the time I don't care but for the guide you do need to care, you know what I mean? And that's... what the fuck did I just did? Sorry. Um, oh hey, we have loose charges. Yo, holy fuck, those are 400 gold by the way. Yeah, those are really freaking good. Five health, that's the minimum of 400 gold, because you could actually sell it for even more than that. I'm gonna throw a torch for now, because I don't think I need it. Probably I'm gonna throw the crossbow as well, because absolute bug checks. Alright, so let's open up the door, let's go down. Basically, here we go, the main way to make an infinite amount of gold. And basically, first thing first, you gotta open up the marvelous chest. It's always gonna bring you some cheese. So make sure you don't forget to check um, the uh, cape, because the cape is like always guaranteed money, because it's a for higher quality. It's more or less a rare item. I'm gonna throw an explosive bottle, because somehow that bottle is not found in raid, and I do need bottles that are only found in raid for the task. I'm gonna use the loose routers and I'm gonna change my rings for the one that will increase my regular interaction speed. Agility and um, resourcefulness will increase your regular interaction speed and this is exactly what I'm gonna do. Now here we go to the main part, basically this is the main idea, this is a guaranteed gold. This is a guaranteed way to make a thousand gold each and every rate quite effortlessly and this is basically what I'm gonna do. We're just gonna mine up some gold one step at a time. Um, so basically, yeah, usually you can get two to four pieces per gold piece. And also don't forget to check in the middle because there is always some good items that you can freaking find. Alright, so far we got um, two pieces and probably there's gonna be like three. Yeah, very nice. Usually you can get 10 to 12 pieces. Um, pretty much this is how much I was getting every time I came here. I believe you can get... I don't, I don't know exactly how much you can get per gold ore, but usually I was getting 12 pieces. Um, I mean, 10 to 12 pieces, I would say. So, yeah. Basically, we're just gonna repeat the process. I jumped on this box for a very simple reason. In case if you get invaded, this place is actually gonna give you just about enough vision so that you would get to see that you would have a very wide um, view and basically they're just super convenient. We have a lion chest that we haven't opened so I highly encourage you to open it up. And basically sometimes you can find really good stuff here. We got a couple of pieces. It's actually just gonna be some money. Free money for us. But um, overall we are here for the gold and we're here to make some money and this is what we're gonna do. Like you can make up to two, three thousand gold so easily, it's just gonna be such a easy work, you know what I mean? And basically once you get down this goblin caves routine, like you would be able to afford any fucking gear that you would ever want it. Like on a barb you don't even need much gear, but uh, if you really want some cheese, Hell yeah, just follow this routine, you're gonna get rich in no time. <laughs> it's like, this is a uh, financial advice, by the way. <laughs> in game, of course, in game. Um, we still have three minutes, it's very convenient to see the amount of time we got left. And we got a solid 10 stack, we got 10 ore pieces, which is really convenient. These rug boots are like on really good. By the way, this turn shoe that I have, they cost 100 gold, by the way, so don't blame me for <laughs> bringing too much stuff. I really didn't, trust me. Alright, let's just run down back. Rage is super convenient. I, I used a lot the Achilles. It's very helpful for PvP, especially it's gonna help you out with landing those, connecting those hits. I'm gonna take the bottle because I fucking want it. I'm gonna take my pass back. 
because I need them. Still have a plenty of time, by the way, so I'm no really in no rush. You don't need more than a minute. Let's check. 220 right now. We're gonna leave here this place here. We're gonna go up. And um, basically, directly go south. We're gonna have a Mr. Skeleton. Hello, Skeleton. Oh. Alright, right, right, right. I fucked around and I found out that bit, so yeah. Let's not do that. <laughs> there was also a very geared ranger, by the way, in the lobby, so... Not sure if he's camping this fight or not. Doesn't seem like he does. Also, this way, this exit is free. Someone was there, by the way. You see all the mobs are running away. Means someone was here. But it doesn't matter. We have finished what we wanted, what we were here for in the first place. Let's try and check how much gold we would be able to make based on the stuff that we just acquired in the raid. We are level 100. Hey, hooray. <laughs> okay, well, anyway. Mm, first thing first, let's sell. All right, right. This is what I want to do. Okay, here I have a plenty of space. Nope, I don't. Not anymore. I don't. Okay, so let's let me drag this out really quick. I'm gonna put an empty gold coin back. I hope I do, and so that majority of the gold would be transferred to the gold coin back, which can be very convenient to calculate how much I ended up making at the end of the day. All right, we sold everything. We have 200 gold. Very nice. Uh, also, we have Cyclop truck. Let's Google it up. Cyclop racks, quality it does not matter. 100 gold, bitch. They used to be more expensive. Fuck. I want to sell all of this so that I get to show you how much I really made. So let's just fucking cancel it out, throw everything. And uh, so how many pieces do we need? One, two, three, four. Nope. This is the one. And also, yeah. Okay, let's check the Fox Pendant. Fox Pendant. Epic quality. True magical. Magical healing. Let's check it out. So, the cheapest one, this one is two magic, one true, and um, also has magical additional memory capacity. Probably could be um, quite decent. <laughs> yeah, there is none in the market. Probably, probably. In th for the right player, this piece is gonna be quite expensive because it offers three perfect attributes. I know, maybe 2000 gold. Do you guys think it's gonna cost 2000 gold? Because it offers something that nothing else does. I feel like this piece alone gonna go for 2,000 gold because it has 3 additional memory capacity, 2 magic heal, true magic damage, and agility. So I do genuinely believe this is gonna be at least 2,000 gold. Let's just mark it up and uh, hopefully it's gonna get sold. Um, okay, so rugged boots. 4 additional move speed max health. Okay, so the cheapest one with 4 move speed is gonna be 555. We're gonna put it at 500 gold. It's fair and square, more than enough. Also, we got um shitty purple rugged boots of epic quality. Let's check it out. The chip is 148. 144. We got two gold ore, and that is it's a flat money pretty much. The conversion rate 367 for 573 gold each. So we're gonna be at 730 uh, of a gold ore. We also have two rings of courage with um for damage let's check the courage 287 gold so that's like 1300 and then we have ring of survival which probably doesn't cost shit anyway i hope you were able to learn something basically this is how you can make a lot of gold i think in this raid alone oh ho, ho, ho. i'm sorry guys my bad my bad i forgot to check the doublet all right physical damage bonus of oh, rare quality 166 not bad this is actually pretty good for the rogue, so and the rogue can use a poison weapon. So let's check with the magical damage bonus as well. Probably, yeah, okay, hundred, still hundred fifty gold. Didn't change much. Hundred forty gold, whatever. Let's get it sold. So pretty much, I genuinely believe this is a long-term um, sale. Probably gonna take half a day, maybe a day. I do believe that a three additional memory capacity is gonna be valued by someone, for example, who didn't commit too much to knowledge and um, if not worst case scenario it's going to be like 1500 gold piece which is not bad either we have um like 700 gold here we have rugged boots that's all 100 going to get sold just matter of times cyclops let's do the mess that's like 3000 gold here more or less you know plus or minus a thousand 
We have 700 here, 4,000 more or less. We have Ring of Courage, which is another 300 gold. So roughly we, we made slightly more or less than 4,000 gold in just one raid without really putting any much effort. And pretty much what could 4,000 gold um, get, you know, get for you? <laughs> Oh boy, bro, like, I don't even, okay, this is, like, literally another topic for another video, but just, like, quickly, my whole kit that I brought in costs fucking less than a thousand gold, less than a thousand, this piece, hundred gold, this is, like, nothing, max health, oh, though, that, this is the piece that I found in game, by the way, <laughs> oh, my bad, my bad, loose trousers with max health are fucking expensive, I know that for a fact, um, let me check, I believe they're, like, 400 gold or so, Holy cow. Yeah, 400 gold straight up. And that's... Yeah, we, we made more than 4,000 gold this raid, guys. Like, for fucking sure. For sure, more than 4,000 gold. Anyway, with this, we're gonna call this... We're gonna call it an end. I feel like we did pretty good for um, a quick gold run. And um, if you wanna do it, just like follow the steps that I showed you in the video. There is another video that I'm planning to make, and that's gonna involve the Frost Mountains. This video is going to specifically target the Goblin Caves, and probably I'm gonna make a name based on that. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you in the dungeon. It's demo. I hope you enjoy my content. Peace out. Much love. Mwah. See you in the next game. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. <laughs>